What's up, my quarantine family? You guys uh, remember when everybody had to uh, sit in their houses for 30 to 60 days? I do, because we're still in that now. So this is a great way to kind of uh, start off. We're gonna start off real basic, doing a margarita. But we're not in a bar, because those are shut down, and we're not in a restaurant, because those are shut down. So usually at your crib, you don't have like professional gear. You just kind of have what's laying around. Some of you, most of you, will probably have one of the juicers, which I recommend. If not, I got a quick and easy way to, for you to get over that. So what we're gonna do, start super simple. You're gonna grab a glass that you can see through so you can kind of do your measurement. Nobody has a jigger laying around, let's be honest. Nobody has a jigger laying around. But we're not gonna use those because this is home pour. This is home life. So we're looking for equal parts uh, for the most part, but we want things to balance. We don't want it to be like, Gah. But first things first, don't forget while you're at home, And then after you do that, we're gonna add tequila first. So I like to, and we're gonna go for two margaritas right now so we can show you how to do two at once. So you know, you're not wasting all your time that you're spending at home doing nothing, playing board games, making tequila margaritas. So that looks hefty, but it's not, cause it's for two and we're at home. And what else is there to do? Next up, we're gonna use agave. Um, which is from the agave plant, which is also what made tequila. So, uh, let's just say that looks good. All right, we're checking that out. Looking pretty good. It looks like it's a stiffy, and it probably is going to be, and that's what we're shooting for today. Uh, we have a little bit of triple sec. If you don't have it, tequila and agave and lime, you are doing almost OG style uh, margaritas. We're not gonna get into the history of it, because again, set quarantine life, baby. So, triple sec, I don't like to use too much of this because I like to taste tequila. I'm a big tequila fan. Uh, that's not a brown joke, I for real just love it. So, what we're gonna do, triple sec. And I don't know if you noticed there, it was just about a dash. But because we're making two, we're gonna do two dashes. There we go again. Now that we have that, we are gonna add but a dash of OJ. Just because, again, we're at home, we don't have that many things laying around. Notice the fine color looking very similar to what you would get at um, a restaurant that would be open. So, actually, these are going to be how we cut for our limes for garnish. And then when we cut our limes, we want the ends to be right there. And I'm going to cut right through it. And what we'll do is just throw this in there and we're doing half a lime per drink. You can get as limey as you want though. Absolutely throw as much lime as you want. And if you don't have one of these fine juicers, I find, and don't do this and be careful with this, please. But you put your uh, blade into and then you just start churning. And then you do a little squeeze and you're kind of breaking up all those little limey bits in there. Mm -mm -mm. So that's the other way to do it if you don't have your squeezer. But when this is all over, I recommend getting one. It's good for all things citrus. So I'm going to do one more. So that's about lime and a half due to the amount of tequila we have. And we always build without ice. So we don't dilute our awesomeness. Okay, so are we ready? Now what we're going to do is we are going to add ice to our shaker. Now don't fill it up with ice. You want the ice to be able to break the agave up. But like I said before, we don't want to dilute. Now I do this little action. It's called the, uh, I don't remember what it's called. But what we're doing is taking out that agave that, was, that filled up in the bottom. And then what we're going to do is cover it up and get your shake on. Now don't be scared to shake, shake. Shake! Oh God, shake! Ah! Get in there! Because, see, if you don't do that, the agave's not gonna break up and then it's gonna get to the bottom and then you're not gonna have a balanced drink. So shake! That's what I call my quarantine shake. So what we do is pull that off. Now, I just throw some salt on a plate. It makes it easier. And then what you do is you use your limes that you had already discarded to kind of rim the glass. 
Then you do that, it makes it super easy and you can always go back, kind of use that same salt. And then we'll do one with and one without. Fresh ice always. Because you don't want those little shards just kind of going around and I don't know, I don't like them. I'm not a big fan of them. Woo! Quarantine party! Now, so what you do, if for instance, you take your first sip. Now again, like I said, remember that first cut we had? And then what I do is one more squeeze and a drop and then we taste. Oh my God, that's delicious. So, I like them very strong, as you saw how I poured. If for any reason, there are some ninnies out there who do not like strong margaritas, which, you know, they're out there, I don't like that much. What we're doing to do is I'm sure you have some sort of sparkling. Just throw a little bubble on top. This one happens to be raspberry, it's what we had. Add a little bubbles to it, if not, soda water, Pellegrino, any of that works. A Sprite if, if you must, but then that kind of messes with the flavor, sweetens it up. I'd stay away from it. Um, the sparkling sodas are the best. And that's delicious as well. Probably needs a little more lime. Ooh, now you're drinking happy in that quarantine lifestyle. Cheers, my friends. Stay safe and stay clean.